So I was driving around and a bluebird flew by the van, so I tried to go get a photo of it, but could never find it. And the last few times I've been out, I've run into these bluebirds. And of course, the, every time that I see them, I'm not prepared. The only times I ever went out looking for them, I never see them. So what I'm gonna do now, because I just got out to fly the drone a little bit and do some B-roll, and I started hearing some chirping and some singing. So I decided to put, throw the long lens on grab my knockers and see if I could see anything, but I'm not really seeing anything just yet. So what I'm probably gonna do is go ahead and just start walking and glassing and see if I can spot something and maybe get a couple photos of it. jackasses hanging around off the side of the road over here. Well, I'm just going to take care of some housekeeping stuff. I'm going to also go ahead and um, I'll do the dishes and things like that. And um, That's why I turned the hot water heater on so I can get the dishes real cleaned up real good. I didn't really show me doing that yesterday, but um, I'm also charging everything, dumping cards, things I typically do when I'm out here, things that you don't really see. Um, I back everything up. So, unfortunately, I didn't bring my the right cable for my uh, USB dock. I only brought one of those, so I have to upload everything onto my, my laptop here and then upload that onto my external hard drive. So, makes it a little slower, which sucks, but um, it is what it is. I got time to kill, so um, not really super hungry yet, but probably have some more goldfish and drink some water. I got a couple ideas in my head when driving in of what I'm going to do for sunrise and sunset, so 
Hopefully all the snow doesn't melt away. Uh, that's why I'm staying in this area. Doesn't the, the, one of the spots I want to go back to looks pretty good, so. So I just framed up a pano. I don't know if I love it. I'm gonna walk over here, take my phone. I'll leave the camera set up because it's kind of my best option right now. Kind of put all my cards in this area. Earlier, I mean, you guys saw footage of the snow and everything. I'll leave some of that B-roll back over. But this area is completely covered in snow. So, I decided, hey, I'll make camp here because I also had another spot not far that I thought I could do a really good sunrise shot tomorrow. Now, the thing is, when this place was covered in snow, it just kind of brought it to life. There's not really much going on. I mean, there's all these really cool boulders and stuff, but I mean, in way, in terms of prettiness, there's not much here. Wish I had two cactuses to work with. Oh no, I found it. Guys, I think I just found the composition because it's still kind of highlighting the snow, which I want to do. So I gotta go get my camera and I'm gonna come back over here.
for those of you that are probably asking why I was running the van during that cooking sequence, if you guys heard that, well, I, uh, the, because it was so cloudy and stormy most of the day and really most of the afternoon, I just kind of been sitting and chilling and charging, did a lot of charging this afternoon. I wasn't pulling in much solar, um, although the solar has been great. It's been really keeping up. Um, but you, last night I know I noticed it cause it was storming most of the day. So I didn't really go to bed with a full charge after cooking and stuff and then running the heater a little bit. I'm still trying to find the fine tune of what the heater needs to be like too. Um, we actually kind of got a little low last night on battery and this morning. So, um, I just ran the, the vehicle a little bit. It, it's not putting a big charge on it via, via the alternator, but it, uh, at least pull, put a little bit on there. So I was able to get it charged back up from, I think it was like 82 when I first pulled in here and it's up to like 95 now. So I also didn't cook on the induction, but I was always planning on using cast iron to cook the steak. So something a little different. And then I'm going to lay down and watch some movies and go to sleep. And then tomorrow morning, uh, we're going to drive about 15 minutes back. There was this really cool rock formation. Actually, where I kind of I saw those burrows the other day, um, those donkeys that I photographed. So it, the, I thought there were some pretty cool rock formations and a lot of foreground elements. Might get some good side light tomorrow morning. So um, tomorrow, the forecast is also kind of hit and miss if we're going to we're gonna get something really good or it's going to be a little uh, but. We'll get up and we'll try, and then it'll be uh, quite a long journey back. Um, we're about, Google Maps is saying it's going to take me about two and a half hours to get back to the highway from where we're at here, so maybe a little faster, we'll see. Um, we're about uh, 60 miles, somewhere like that, 40, 50 miles or something. I think it's like 50 miles, 50 miles from um, getting back to the freeway, so it's 50 miles of dirt road. Again, so uh, you guys didn't get to see a lot of that in the first episode because my drones weren't working. So I got the drones working again. Um, so we'll be able to get those up, get some footage of the van kind of driving around and um, see if we see anything else kind of cool. But yeah, that's it. I will catch you guys. I'll see or I'll see you guys in the morning.
That's it for this week's episode, guys. If you enjoyed the content, then please consider uh, hitting the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, also consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I post another video. This was part three of a short trip I just did not far from my home in Las Vegas and the custom Sprinter van that we outfitted last summer. If you guys would like to come explore this area, well, you have the opportunity to actually rent this van which I have linked down below. I also have my website linked down below if you guys want to check out some of my other landscape photography and wildlife photography. I sell fine art prints and merchandise and other goodies there. And plus I have some other things I'm working on, so if you guys subscribe to the newsletter down below, then you'll also be able to be notified when I start adding some of those new uh, some of those new things I'm talking about. If you guys have watched some of my other in the field videos, then this one, these videos may have felt similar, but there also may have been some differences there. Um, I changed it up just a little bit. So if you guys enjoyed it, then let me know down in the comment section. If you guys want to see other things, also let me know down in the comment section because still kind of getting uh, the right content built out on this channel. So, but that's it for me. What I'm going to do now, as you guys probably, I don't know if you can tell in the background, I'm in a Walmart parking lot, the same Walmart parking lot that we started the adventure in. But I'm uh, pretty much wrapped up eating there, but I got another, another cup of coffee in me. Uh, just cleaning up a little bit here, getting things organized for the ride home. It's not too far of a drive, probably about an hour and a half. And then the fun begins of getting this thing all cleaned up and put back together for the next adventure. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. Um, I really do appreciate it. So I don't just make, I make this content because it's fun, but it also is enjoyable when people do watch it. So. Yeah, but all in all, I mean, a decently successful trip. Uh, nothing, no pictures really to write home to mom about, but still, just getting out and making new photos is always so much fun. And being able to do it in luxury was also very nice. Used to uh, usually sleeping in the back of my truck or pitching a tent, so uh, this is the second trip I've taken this van on. This is the first time it's fully finished, and man, yeah, I'm pretty proud of what we created here. So but that's it. Thanks, guys.